Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Let's unbox another handbag. If you already subscribed to my channel, welcome back. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Carla and on this channel I share videos on fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. If you enjoy these kinds of videos, then please subscribe down below. Okay, so let's jump right into this video. Let me share the word of the day really quickly and it is be you Beautiful, which means having the pleasing quality of being the best you. If you've watched a lot of my videos, then you know by now that I love, love, love handbags. I, I don't know, I can't say it enough, I love handbags. So I picked up this new handbag. It is from Shane Justin. So Shane Justin, let me pull it up really quickly. Um, Shane Justin, who is on Instagram, um, he is a black designer, of course. And it says here when I looked it up that he's the creator of Dare to be Vintage and it's all about glitz and glam. So when you go on his page, it's shopshanejustin.com. You'll definitely notice too that glitz and glamour. It says that he makes exclusive designs he specializes in prom dresses, custom-made pieces, recreating designer clothing, and turning them into beautiful garments for men and for women. So when you go onto his Instagram page, you'll see a lot of different aesthetics. You know, you see shorter dresses. The women on here are curvier. I will say that. They're definitely curvier women. However, it doesn't mean that you can't rock any of these things. You definitely can. I focus more on the handbag and when you see it, you're gonna see why. Um, some may say, you know what, I'll get into the handbag unboxing really quickly. So let me unbox this. So this is how it came. It came in this purple packaging. I picked this up on Black Friday. It was, yes, it was Black Friday. It literally came in maybe three days. It came really quickly. All of my other items are taking forever to come in since Black Friday. And I understand that when there's a sale, it takes longer for items to come in. But this shipped pretty quickly. Let me just use these scissors because it's taped really, really well, guys. And, ooh. So, look at this box. This is amazing. I just love, love shopping especially definitely black designers right and I feel like at this point from what I've been reading a lot of reviews which is kind of annoying at this point is I feel like people come for black designers for some reason I don't know why but they definitely come for black designers and it's it's very annoying um, but this is the packaging this is just stunning I'll try to get a really good close-up of this but look at this it says SJ right here Shane Justin um oh my goodness guys this is beautiful this packaging is just I'm like obsessed with the packaging I haven't even gotten to the bag yet so I just untied it right here guys I love this I am so excited for this all right oh my god guys do you see this this is just beautiful the aesthetics already is just beautiful i will i will say it does have like a weird smell it's hard to say what the what the smell is i'm not sure if it's just like the material that's on the but oh it's actually on the actual um bag here um i can't really pinpoint the smell of it it's like a weird weird smell um not awful but weird and the longer it stays out the less you smell it so let's just get into this dust bag that's really really soft and once again it just says sj here this is kind of peeling off in a sense i don't know what material this is but it's peeling off so i'm so excited to share this and then we'll talk a little bit about it because i'm sure i'm gonna get all the comments but here well it's actually wrapped so hold on actually decided that i want to show you how wrapped up this is so check this out so wrapped in tissue paper I just want to show you guys, like I said, all of this. So you can see that he did a great job packaging this. So, 
taking these off of the candles as you can see already look at this bag so yes this is kind of like a dupe i would call this a dupe for the hermes bag um this is called the justin 25 so it would kind of be like the hermes 25 bag so the reason why i say this is a dupe i've made a video before on knockoffs and dupes so this does not say Hermes anywhere. So you're not gonna see Hermes on any of the hardware. It, it says right here, Shane Justin, like it has his logo right here. So this is why I call this more of a dupe. A knockoff carries the name of the designer brand and they try to sell it with that name. They name it Hermes and they will sell it as if it's an Hermes bag. Shane Justin did not do that. This has, like I said, SJ here and nowhere on this bag does it say Hermes. So this would be considered a dupe for the Hermes handbag. So this is it. These, This is the front of it. So this is how you unlock it. You would twist it and you open it up right here. And look how beautiful that is. It does come with this felt piece right here, which I am going to take off. I'm trying to examine the bag. This is, let me just read the description. It's a beautiful crafted purse that has silver hardware, as you can see right here. The design, vivid color, are only a few great reasons to purchase this handbag. So far already, guys, this guy, this bag feels really good. It feels like it has some weight. It feels like it has some quality. It does have the silver feet on the bottom. I will go over this handbag with you guys. It says it's lined with leather inside, great quality inside and out. This bag does come with a crossbody strap. Haven't gotten there yet. The leather, the, the quality on this, so this is made with vegan leather. If you've seen any of my Telfar handbag unboxings, which you know I love me a Telfar handbag. If you want, I'll link it right here. I love me a Telfar handbag. Those handbags are also made of vegan leather. I will say that the vegan leather on my Telfar handbags do feel different from the leather on this handbag. I'm trying to examine it because it does have like some, no, it has like some silver stuff on here. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be on here, but it has some silver, like maybe the way they marked it. I'm gonna try to get that off, but for right now, when you rub it off, Oh, it does kind of come off. So I'll probably just rub that off. Yeah, it definitely comes off like some silver kind of marker-ish looking things. Okay, let's talk about this bag. I wanted to point that out so that you are aware that, you know, I received this bag and there is like a little, so far, just a little bit of marker, which like I said, does wipe off. So let's go through this bag. Like I said, it has the silver feet on the bottom. I love feet. On, or I just love when bags have these little feet on the bottom so that you can put your handbag down somewhere and the bag isn't actually touching the surface of whatever you put it down on. As you can see, it has the top handle right here. I showed you already how you open this bag or how you unlock it. It has this little piece right here that turns. So then you open the handbag. And guys, this is pretty self-explanatory. This is my first time unboxing this bag. As you saw, I cut it open. And just by the way it looks, you can see how to open the bag. So you just open it right here. I will say I watched his live because I wanted to figure out if I wanted to buy this handbag or not. And the price of this, because I wanted to tell you that, the price of this handbag was $375 which I find so far to be, and the, the price is fine. I find that maybe it could have it could have even been more because the quality is there. It does feel like a quality bag. So let me take this piece off. On his live, he did say to save this. So I am going to save this piece. So let's get into the interior of this handbag. And guys, so far, so good. Like I said, that only um, the only thing so far was the silver markings on it. Ooh, this bag spreads. Look at the outside. So when it's closed, it's like this on the sides. Look at how much it opens up. So hopefully you can see the interior of this handbag. Let me just, 
So this is what it comes with. Open this up really quickly. So far I can tell that this, this video is gonna be pretty long. Um, but here's the strap that it comes with. And then it also came with this lock. So if you've ever seen any of the Hermes pieces, normally what you do is you put the lock right in the front and you leave the bag open. And it came with this little keychain piece. All right, so showing you the interior of the handbag. Um, it's pretty big inside. Look how spacious that is. It does have, yep, it has, so it says Shane Justin right in the back right here, not sure if you can see. I'll try to get a close up for you guys. And then there's this zip closure back here. Wow, this actually feels really good, guys. For vegan leather, this feels really good. It has this zip and the zip, let me see. Putting it on the side, the zip, can you hear that? It's really good. It's not like those zips that keep getting caught. It has this little pocket right here in the front. It's not, oh, it's actually kind of deep. My hand just wasn't making it. It's kind of deep. It has a pocket right here and then just this entire pocket right here. So guys, so far, this bag is worth it. I will say that $375, this bag is worth it. And look at how vibrant and beautiful this red is. I would call this more of a candy apple red. This is just so beautiful. I'm gonna look up really quickly how to style this bag and I'll show you guys. So I looked up a couple of pictures just to see how to style this bag. And when I say style, I just mean putting the pieces back on or the pieces on that came with it. So you take this little keychain piece and you put it on right here. So you put it through here. And if you know how to do this already, then definitely skip through all of this. This is for anyone who doesn't know how to do this. So you just put this right here, just like that. Then what I would do is I would just tuck this in. So these pieces in the back that open up, tuck this in in the back like that, right? And then you take this, the little straps on the side, and it comes with this hook, so kind of hook it over, just like that. And then you would take the lock, and you do need the key. So if you looked at this little key piece, it had a key on it, so I'm just gonna unlock this lock, for security as well because then you can the way the bag came you can lock the handbag that way if you don't want people to get in I would just take this lock put it right in the front and just lock it back like that see that guys that is how you want the handbag to look if you want to wear it that way because I will say everything in the inside is open and then the strap that comes with it is adjustable guys so far as you can see i actually really really love this bag so this bag these strap right here these straps are adjustable it has the little keyhole slots right here so you would just put the straps right on i pointed out that i really like this bag i do also want to say that if you don't like this bag if you don't like it, don't buy it because you cannot return this handbag. That is why I decided to make this video not only to unbox it, but to show you the details and how to put it together because I know I personally would want to see a video before I purchase something or I always try to look up videos if I'm unsure about purchasing something. So I wanted to make this video as detailed as possible if you're considering purchasing this handbag. In my opinion so far, like I said, I really like this handbag. It's such a versatile piece. It does come in black. It comes in like this camel kind of color, like a lightish brown kind of color, which looks stunning. It also comes in a baby pink. It comes in baby blue. And I think he's gonna be releasing it soon in like this, um, I don't know, like a crocodile skin kind of handbag. Um, and. I think I'll be picking up a couple of those because like I said guys, so far I love, love, love this handbag. 
I'll probably do a video on like a what's in my bag or the wear and tear of, of this handbag because I am going to be wearing this. And if you're wondering how you can style a red bag if you decide to go with the red, you don't have to wear red, right? Like you can wear an all black outfit and just have a red bold lip. Anything you do, just, just throw on a red lip, right? Like a white t-shirt, some blue jeans, and this handbag would look stunning. And that's why I picked this bag up. People wouldn't consider red a neutral, but red can definitely be a neutral handbag. So yeah, guys, I hope you found this video helpful. Please, please, please remember to be kind to yourself and be kind to others. Love yourself and love others as well. Also remember to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below. See you in the next video.